Welcome to the course introduction for our discussions on wireless wide area networks. My name is David Zemney and I'll be your instructor in these modules. Let's take a look at what we're going to do over the next several modules. The idea of this course is to give us a thorough overview of all the existing as well as all of the emerging wide area wireless technologies. The course has sufficient detail to gain an understanding of the following. Why the technological methods were chosen for development this is always a, a, a key issue. You, if you know why something and kind of how something works, then you can see uh, how the technology can grow and understand the reasons behind the growth. can select a technology or a service provider with uh, the wireless business requirements that are needed. Very important. If we know how this stuff works, we'll know whether a particular uh, uh, application suits our needs. So our course objectives will be to develop a uh, you know, comfort with the terminology associated with a lot of wireless uh, applications and understand the concepts behind wireless communications methods. We'll compare and contrast the features, the functions, the benefits, and very importantly when we talk about uh, wireless, we'll talk about the challenges of both wired and wireless solutions, but we know that it is much more difficult to communicate in a wireless network than communicating with wires. So, we'll also explain the unique challenges, uh, the impairments that we might incur, and we'll take a look at the markets for radio-based communications. There has to be a compelling reason to want to do this with wires, and certainly one compelling reason would be mobility. We'll have to have uh, a wireless link in place uh, for that type of communications to take place. Otherwise, if you can't, do it with wires. And we'll take a look then at some of the high-speed wide area wireless uh, area network services, the technologies and the, the applications that are supported by these technologies. Okay, so additionally in our uh, objectives we, uh, we certainly want to be able to discuss the roles and the performance characteristics of what makes wireless works, namely the antennas and the wireless hardware itself. We'll take a look in detail at the operation of cellular and private radio systems. We'll also uh, discuss the challenges of developing the higher speed wireless services and see what uh, exists as emerging high speed wireless solutions. Course prerequisites. There are no formal prerequisites for the course. However, uh, your experience from previous coursework in networking and wireless is certainly va valuable. For that matter, your previous experience in, uh, in wireless activities is uh, very valuable. A recommended course is one in wireless essentials where we can uh, uh, spend a little more time developing uh, the concepts and uh, dealing with the uh, how uh, wireless actually operates, looking uh, more at a signal level type of behavior. And it's nice to have, since this all ties into an area of communication systems, and uh, another recommended course could be that of Datacom Essentials. The module topics. This will kind of keep us all on track of where we want to go, and then you can look around and see what, uh, what module is of the uh, keenest issue to you. The wireless uh, communications, the business case. We've got to have a reason to do it, so we'll see that, uh, what the compelling issues there are. And take a look then at uh, radio and communications methods in general, but very specifically uh, how we do it with uh, wireless. Uh, the issues dealing with uh, how to operate wireless networks behavior conditions and so forth. Uh, we'll take a look at the antenna behavior and we also will take a look at something called a link budget. And that's uh, uh, analyzing how the power is utilized going from a source to a destination in a wireless link. And this brings us then to the challenges of uh, maintaining a wireless link. So we'll take a look at uh, all of the bad things that can happen and then we want to find, hopefully find some ways to ensure that all the bad things don't happen when we set up a wireless communications link. Then uh, obviously we, we have means for doing this and we'll take a look then at some specific examples of uh, wireless in the business place such as Wi-Fi and other local wireless type of uh, activities. 
cellular radio is something that uh, is uh, omnipresent around the world, so uh, it's, we would be remiss if we didn't talk a little bit about how cellular got, uh, uh, got its start and where it is today. And we need then to also look at uh, alternative wide area wireless technologies uh, and see how they can augment uh, our uh, support of traffic and applications within our business. And that means then we will continue to push to higher and higher speeds. Now, often we need to uh, have a, a reminder that the higher speeds supported by wireless will never uh, equal or exceed the speed supported by a wired type of uh, network. Some of the things specifically then that can give us higher speed support, some high speed packet access uh, technologies such as high speed downlink packet access and high speed uplink packet access and uh, we see this uh, associated with GSM uh, evolving networks and then EVDO associated with a lot of uh, uh, CDMA type networks. And we need to then get off the ground, take a look at alternative uh, technologies here, such as uh, uh, satellite systems with both geostationary Earth orbit and Middle Earth, High Earth orbit, Low Earth orbit type systems as well. Remember, if you have questions, though, at any time, use the question comment box found in GoGo. Let's get started.